just filthy, guys. No, Casper. this is me and today's video is going to be a winter cleaning one because my goodness this morning it definitely feels like winter it's so cold it's so frosty so I've got my hat and gloves on so hopefully I'm gonna be staying warm hopefully I'll warm up as well when I'm cleaning because there are a lot of things I need to kind of organize we still actually have some of the horses summer rugs out so I'm gonna put them all away get all of their winter rugs organized they're currently wearing some now as well we also have a feed and shaving delivery so I'm gonna be putting that away as well as just tidying everything up I'm gonna have a little bit of a reorganize especially of my tack room and the feed room as well and hopefully sweep the yard and lots of other cleaning I also really need to clean my tack as well so let's go and see how messy everything is <laughs> So before I start cleaning everything, I need to get the horses out of the way. They've currently been in their stables during the night because it's so muddy and wet and cold. Isn't it Casp? So it's time to let them out into the field for the day. Hey Mick! <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's undo the door. And also do the latch as well. And obviously the horses need their stables mucking out as well today. Mick! Hey Mick, you're so fluffy. I love it this time of year because I just think they look so cute. They're like little mini polar bears. Okay, time to open you up. So something Mickey likes to do when I let him out of his stable, he always likes to try and go into Casper's for some reason. I think he likes to eat up any sort of scraps of hay or food that he's left behind. Casper's stable and look at the food. Oh no, he's following Casper today. That's a little bit different. I think he's just like, nope, I want to go out in the field. Oh no. Guys, I think Casper's going to roll. This is not going to be fun. Oh no, Casper. Every morning, without a fail, once Casper's had his breakfast and he's been let out of the field, he goes and rolls. He was so clean as well because I groomed him yesterday. Oh, Casper! You can see where he's rolled because there's this like massive patch of mud that's all squished. Oh! I think they're going to have their little morning run around. Hey, are you going to roll as well, Mick? <laughs> is he going to do the other side? That is the question. Nope. Back to grazing. <laughs> okay, so now I've let the horses out. They're out in the field for the day, having fun, having a bit of a graze. I think Casper's enjoyed his roll. He's now all nice and muddy, which is just, you know, brilliant for an owner of a grey horse. Uh, so I'm gonna go now and get started in the feed room. Don't slip over. <laughs> so welcome to the feed room. So the main sort of job that I want to do today with the feed room is obviously we have the deliveries, so putting all that away. But I think the first thing I'm actually gonna do this morning is make loads of hay nets. That means a bit of the hay is removed from here as well, so I have more room to put in the new shavings. And also, I just like having one day of the week to just make loads of hay nets. So it means if I have an evening where I'm a little bit busy, if I come back and it's dark, I can literally just put the hay nets up. I don't have to worry about making loads. So it's kind of like a present from the past you being like, here, have loads of hay nets. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Starry eyes and cellophane, she takes her walk, she makes her plan. A truck bails down the avenue, there's broken glass, a missing pew at church. Maybe I was wrong, maybe time's too strong. Are we falling further? I've now finished 
making all the hay nets, which personally for me is my least favorite job because you get absolutely covered in hay. If it's a little bit dusty as well, you know, it's not great. It can sometimes make me sneeze a little bit. Um, but also I just feel like it takes such a long time and so much effort. So I'm glad I've got all that done. I've pretty much, I don't know how many hay nets I've made. I've probably made like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've made about eight or nine hay nets. So I've made quite a few, which is brilliant. But also the plan kind of is, because I'm gonna be cleaning up in here, I'm gonna be sweeping. Obviously I don't want to be sweeping and then all the dust going into the hay. So I'm actually gonna move all of the hay nets into the donkey's old stable that we're currently using for storage. So if you haven't seen the donkey's new stable, I'll leave a little card above so you can check that video out after this one if you haven't already. However, the donkey's old stable might not be used for storage for long. So anyway, time to move all of the hay nets into there. When everyone is gone, are we breaking title to ask the question why? We live and then we die, I think I'm fine Maybe I'll write you from the other side <laughs> So I thought I was finished making hay nets but I'm actually going to make one more because there is like a teeny bit of a bale left and I kind of want to put that away so then it's not kind of like just like half a bale because if it was just going to go on the floor there's also loads of little bits of beglar twine <laughs> that's kind of all mixed in on the hay on the floor so what I'm going to do is all the sort of hay on the top layer I'm going to pick up put it in a hay net I'm going to wash it really well before I give it to the donkeys because the donkeys they're desert animals they're used to eating any old dusty stuff so I'm going to wash it make sure it's not dusty for them so they're going to get the slightly older hay it's not bad hay it's literally just like little flakes that have kind of fallen on the floor and give sort of the hay kind of area a really big tidy up Now that's done, I'm going to move a few of the hay bales from over there over here so then we can put all the new shavings that are being delivered in that corner. There are about 20 bales of new shavings so we're really stocking up today so we're not going to be running out anytime soon. So that's a lot of bales of shavings so definitely going to need to make some room for that. Then we die, I think I'm fine Maybe I'll write you from the other side So it's not only Casper that's rolled now, Mickey has gone and rolled as well. He's having a bit of a scratch actually. Mick! He's really enjoying that scratch. Mate! Do you mean to scratch that instead? He's like, nope, the <laughs> is doing a better job. It's really lucky that it's a scratching post. Mickey, stop. There we go. <laughs> but just look at his face. Just look at it all over his eyes, his nose and his mane. It's just filthy, guys. <laughs> this is not great. I've got two really muddy and dirty greys now, so they're going to be fun to clean later. <laughs> Now i finished tidying up the hay side of the feed room, it's now time to do this side. So I feel like the main culprit that's causing it to look a lot more untidy than it actually is are the rugs. So at the moment the horses have their thicker, warmer winter rugs on. So the rugs here are their New Zealand's, so they're kind of like a waterproof rain sheet. They don't have that much fill in, so they're quite thin. So I use them mainly in the autumn because we get a lot of rain, but then it's not too cold. So I kind of need to tidy them away and put them away. I think I also have some fleeces and things there that I haven't used for a couple of weeks, so they probably need to be put away as well. And then I think I'm going to have a little bit of a wash up of the horse's feed buckets, give them a really good scrub with some soap and things as well. Um, just give them a really good clean. And I have some supplements that I need to put away, tidy up. And they, I still have some bandages and things here from when Mickey had his poultice on with his hoof. 
so that needs to be tidied away as well. So there's a lot to do, so let's get started. I'm just gonna take it slowly. I'm just gonna live one day at a time. I hope you feel you truly know me. If something comes to take me in the night. We fall in further. The lights take us home. And everyone is gone. We break a title to ask the question why We live and then we die, I think I'm fine Maybe I'll write you from the other side I'm going to make it messy again because I'm going to do some reorganisation. So above me here in all of these sort of rainbow boxes, I basically have miscellaneous sort of rugs and things. They were once organised so the right sort of coloured box was the right coloured horse. So each horse of mine or donkey has a specific colour. So Casper's purple, Mickey is blue. Toby is yellow, Bruno is red, and Willow is pink. I do have some extra boxes here that aren't sort of the right colours for them. For example, the green box, which just has random bits and bobs in. Uh, so the plan kind of is to get all the boxes from above, bring them down, reorganise everything, go through all the rugs that I'm using and not using at the moment, and then sort of make it easier so if I do need something I can quickly grab it. I also have another box of rugs um, over there and they are really untidy so they're full of all the summer rugs so I have all the fly sheets and things and yeah they are not going to be used until next year because all the flies are gone, it's now winter, it's very cold and they will not be wearing those rugs so yeah I have a lot of organising to do. <laughs> served in the war he used to pick up radio waves that he said were from the future i think the horse i'm gonna do first is casper because he has the most rugs out of everybody I'm actually going to be using two boxes for him, so he's going to have the purple box and he's also going to have the royal blue box. So time to take everything out and put it all back in again. As little children we would gather round, to us he was a giant. But when it came to taking medicine, the man was non-compliant. He'd tell me, hey, what would you say if I could build a little vessel that could take us to another time and place? What would you say? I'm not very good at folding up rugs at all, but it's working. <laughs> He'd take us fishing at the local dam, we would bike down from his house. Telling stories of a captain he knew from his travels to the past. The cannonballs and muskets and the weapons they used were anything but modern. So grab a rock grenades and proximity mines, together they ran the ocean. organizing 
everything. I feel so much better. It looks absolutely amazing because I've actually really well organized all of the rugs. So for the purple box, we have Casper's winter rugs. So his spare turnout rugs, his stable rugs, and his fleeces. Casper actually has three boxes just to himself. So the reason why I sort of went for the warmer colors for the fly rugs is because they're used in the summer. So it's kind of color coded to the horses and kind of color coded to the seasons. So to me, I kind of know where everything is. And then the end box, the pink box, that just has some old pads in. So now it's time to get all of these boxes and put them back up at the top. <laughs> Organized. The last thing that I need to do for in here is clean all these buckets because they have gotten a little bit muddy because it's just so wet and horrible here in the UK at the moment. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. Everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So I've just got some washing up liquid, which of course I'm going to wash off really well once I wash the buckets. And then I've also got this um, stiff brush or dandy brush here because the bristles are really stiff. They're really good at getting into little nooks and crannies and um, getting all the mud out because especially Toby and Bruno's buckets, they are just covered in mud at the bottom. So time for a good old scrub. Now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning Because something's gonna change my mind I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year Apologetic text he says to come over Well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day When you would come back here There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill And I think that I will be alright And my ex from high school still looks just the same As she did back in 2009 Not gonna wait till the morning Let's never put the night on night now the buckets are clean, I'm going to use my towel, give them a little bit of a dry off, put them away, but also some of the names on them have faded a little bit, so I'm going to get a sharpie and write them back on as well. Oh, I want to sit right here, right here, chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good light. Now it's time to make these buckets look brand new. However, before I do that, I want to ask you guys, which equine do you think has destroyed their bucket the most? Because I actually bought these buckets all at the exact same time. However, one of them is a lot more destroyed than the others. So answer the little poll or comment down below and let me know. Walk away from the spotlight for the good life, for the good life. And they all said I was crazy. the day and our shavings delivery and feed delivery has now arrived so we've put it on the back of the quad because they could only drop it off at the bottom of our driveway because it's kind of like a muddy track up to the stables and they wouldn't have been able to get the get van through because it's too muddy so we've got it all stacked up on the quad and um she is dipping a little bit because <laughs> there is quite a lot on here we've really stacked it up so let's take it up to the stables <laughs> oh 
oh wow we actually made it i honestly thought at some point that some of the um shaving bales were actually gonna like topple over because we really did sack them quite high so time to get them into the feed room The feed room is looking so clean and so organized now. It makes me really happy. It's just so satisfying. But also it means that later when I come up to do the evening checks, I know where all the rugs are. I know where all the hay nets are. Everything's done and tidy and organized and it's just brilliant. Also over the December period, I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos. So if you're not subscribed yet and you haven't turned on post notifications, then be sure to please do because it means that um, you get notified every time I upload a video because I'm going to be uploading more rather than just on Fridays um, so be sure to watch out for that also thank you so much for watching today's video I really do ho hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time bye